pagtapos na ang mag-background, yun lang just wala background. Uy! Nakadi man lang ako. Nagawala man ang sound sa ni Oi? Ang tayo pagamita? Uy, nag-record na, ikat mo na lang yun yun. Ano na, 14 seconds. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to my vlog. You miss vlog. Ayan. So, para sa video pong ito, ipapakita namin sa iyo. Dahil ngayon, isang sabah kami sa radio broadcasting. At ako po ay kinakabahan na. Oh my God. <laughs> Time check. It's 8 a.m. 8 in the morning. And maya maya lang sa salang na kami sa radio broadcasting. Kaya stay tuned lang kayo guys. Ayun, kasama ko po si Ate Marimar Florendo para sa radio broadcasting ng Osmanya Colleges. And I hope it's gonna be a successful and divorce. Ayan. So stay tuned lang kayo guys! We're heading down to. Ay, we're heading up. <laughs> we're heading up to Radio Natin FM with Mama Rimar. <laughs> Ginakol baan kami? Like. Buhay pa po kami. <laughs> Ayan. Umaakit kami ng. Sixth. Floor building, and we're here. Charada, Rico. Welcome, welcome to Radio Natin FM. Yes. All right, here we go. How are you? How are you to find out? Yes, Mom Sheila is here. Hello, po, Mom Sheila. Call ba yung? Ah, it's a good one. Hindi ako ba ang Japan ako? It's gonna be easy peasy for you. Yes, Ma'am Darren. You're gonna be the first one to present. Yeah. Kumusta ang feeling? Full guwa. Kaya vlog din na sa'yo vlog. Pero nakatry ka na baga last ano? Last week. Pero with Vin's help pa. Yan na, ano na. Without Vin's help. Yeah. So baka mag-ano. Kaya mo yan. Hi Megan! What you doing here? Sabi sa videographer of RBI. Nagapidyo ka? Oo. Kami 
Start the push Magical world, notable characters, and forgettable stories. Welcome to your 21st century literature from the Philippines and the world. Subject attached with majestic venture, it's me once again, your teacher broadcaster Marimar Messi from Senior High School Department of Osmania Colleges. Saying literature is enjoyable and it can bring you anywhere with your wife, imagination. Just in case no one ever told you this today, remember, you're beautiful, you're loved, you're needed, and you're stronger than you think. So the stress is in the second syllable. From old Provencal sonnet, a little poem, and from a Latin word, sonos, meaning sound. Sonnet has standards as 14 lines, following a set of rhymes and logical structure. Now, are you ready to write or create your own poem? As for me, I am excited to read your beautiful pieces. Can we proceed to page 10? And take a look at the activity, the activity in the thinker's view too. There you can see your activity which will be done in your home. Kindly read the direction carefully. See you all again in our next meeting on air. Bata musmek padayon. Goodbye and God bless and enjoy the rest of the day. And I'm so nervous and at the same time I feel so excited. Oh. <laughs> My God. Mabuhay! Thumbs up for technology, hands down for success. Narito na ang new guru, teacher D is the name, Lydia is the name. Brace yourself for your subject, media and information literacy. I am from Osmania College's Senior High School Department and I will be your radio teacher for today. Tara na! Makinig na! Matuto na! Dito sa Radio Skwela ng Osmania! First, let's have a system check. Can you hear me clearly? Great! Media literacy as a subject is very new to the Philippines educational system. While it is fairly developed in the West, both as curriculum is as endeavor of broader consumer movement in civic education, we are still generating the best practices that would privilege the context of the Philippines vis-a-vis -vis the more developed theories of media literacy in other parts of the world. Communication refers to people or group of people imparting or exchanging messages through speaking, writing, gestures, or even using other symbolic forms to utilize ideas. 
The way we speak is a process of communication. In communication, we have eight elements that constitute the creation of a message. These are source, encoding, transmitting, channels, decoding, receiver, feedback, and noise interference. Interpersonal communication is when people communicate face-to-face -face with someone they know. This is an example of interpersonal communication. Interpersonal communication is a form of communication that involves two to three individuals interacting with each other. There are times when you cannot and need to talk to face to face, so communication becomes mediated through the use of devices such as pen, telephone, or even computer. Communication can be a great key to success. Through communication, we can understand each other's opinions and thoughts. Through communication, consensus can be solved. Through communication, we can set up a good relationship with others. And through communication, we can attain world peace. Well done, learners! You did an excellent job in completing and answering your short quiz. Thank you for listening. I am very happy and I enjoyed our discussion today. Congratulations! Job well done! Once again, I am Teacher Dean, your teacher for today, saying... Digital literacies are for everyone. We all live and work in a digital networks. Once again, this is Teacher Dean saying bye-bye for now. Catch me on my next discussion here on our Rajanathan FM 107.1 because our aim is your education for better tomorrow. Tulay pangarap, Batang Osmeña, Padayon. Maraming salamat po. Yes! Hello everyone! I'm done! <laughs> We're done! Yes! Thank you very much. Isang epic fail dahil naputol po ang isang clip ng tripod ni Ma'am Megan. Pero... Ay, oo, oo, pero ayaw, ay, hello. Maraming salamat po for listening. And I hope everyone got informed and at the same time learn something from our discussion. So excited for the next week. Video for blog. Ayan, so maraming salamat po. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell. Bye, everyone!